when you open Corel Draw CM Wage Color Palette, you will notice there is a black at the top and at the bottom. So, why are there two blacks when one is enough to serve its purpose? That's what we are going to discover in this video. If you make designs with Corel Draw, this video is for you. If you make designs that undergoes offset printing process, this video is basically for you. And if you are a print designer just like me, you have to watch this video till the very end. Make sure you leave a like and share this video with a friend. Consider that subscribing if you love the kind of content you see on this channel so moving on to corel draw i want to explain why you see the two blacks in corel draw seeing where get color palette is the color palette for offset printing why i'm saying offset printing i would have used the general word cmyk is the color palette for printing but you can use rgb for digital printing as well but in the case of offset printing rgb is not needed when it comes to that you really need to use cmyk for offset printing so if you're a print designer and you make designs that will go through offset printing process you really need to understand why we have these two blocks in corel draw so if you move your cursor to the very first block you will see it has zero cyan zero magenta zero yellow and hundred black that is to say in corel draw we always have these four channels when we are working with cmyk color mode you always see these four channels remember cmyk stands for cyan magenta yellow and black so you see zero cyan zero magenta and zero yellow but you have hundred black that is to say this particular black has zero cyan zero magenta zero yellow and hundred black but in the case of this other black you see here it's hundred percent black hundred percent magenta hundred percent yellow and hundred percent cyan every color channel has hundred percent and which is what we want to discover in this video so after making a design that will undergo offset printing process you really have to check your blacks by making the color separation on your own before sending it out to the printing press for them to start processing the printing this is why many printers have problems with designers because of the way they present their work you have to check your blacks if you mistakenly use the hundred percent black this other black that is darker than this other black you know they have two blacks but one is darker than the other one if you mistakenly use this other black on your body copy or on your text then there would definitely be a problem and this is why when a design is about to undergo color separation process your design will be divided into four colors that is cyan magenta yellow and black which means these four colors will be separated into four different plates and these plates are printing plates that passes through the offset printing machine to bring out the result of the design you made so the first part which is cyan will print out all the parts of your design that has cyan and the second part will bring out all the parts that has magenta the third part will bring out the parts of your design that has yellow and the last part will bring out the part of your design that has black but when you use this 100 percent black in corel draw it means the black will be visible in cyan magenta yellow and black and this makes it very hard for the print press operator to align the colors together it makes your design to have results that looks like this it looks like this and also looks like this and as a print designer you won't like the end product of the design you made to look like this this 100 percent black that is always the last color in corel draw cmyk color palette is a color you can use for digital print maybe for large format because large format always need this cmyk this 100 percent black to bring out the best and brilliant black for your design so it's totally fine if you use it for large format printing or direct imaging but when it comes to offset printing you have to opt for the black the 100 the normal black let's look at the status bar if you look at the status bar you know that the normal black has zero cyan zero magenta and zero yellow but it has 100 percent black while well, this other black has 100 percent cyan 100 percent magenta 100 percent yellow and 100 percent black and what you want for your design is to make the black to fall just once in one plate and that is going to be on the black color channel 
Now, this is the question. Why does the four colors present black as the end result? Recall that in the color wheel, this illustration shows that when cyan, magenta, yellow, and black comes together, the resulting color will be a very rich black, and the black is 100% CMYK. The other black is this one that is just black. The illustration here explains everything. You really have to run these checks before you send your designs out for printing. Color separation is the process by which original full color digital files are separated into individual color components for four color process printing. So, this is to say the four colors which you use in designing for offset printing, which is cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, will be separated into four different components and which they will be subjected into the offset printing machine. It prints one by one until the four colors are completed that brings out the full digital image which you made. So, let's study this intensively with this sample design I have here on my screen. So, I'm going to separate the colors. The first design has the 100% black, that is the one with 100% cyan, 100% magenta, 100% yellow, and 100% black. Well, the second design has 0% cyan, 0% magenta, 0% yellow, and 100% black. Okay, let's test the color separation for the 100% CMYK. On the very first design, we have the 100% CMYK, so I'm going to press Ctrl P, assuming I want to print this, because we want to test this out. And when your print dialog box comes out, you click on color. So when you click on color, next thing you want to do is to click on separations, okay? You click on separations, and then we are going to choose a different printer so we'll be able to manipulate this. I'll go back to general and change this to, let's say, uh, HD let's add it it's not available so i'm just going to click on ok and go back to uh, separations and when you click on separations you're going to see cyan magenta yellow and black that is to say this particular design has the four color channels which is cyan magenta yellow and black so let's first of all look at cyan uh, the part of our designs that has cyan so you're going to uncheck black yellow and magenta and let's have only cyan here then click on print preview and when you click on print preview this is what you see basically it shows all the parts of your designs that has cyan in it so every part of uh, design you see here has cyan you can see the print specification here the separation here it shows cyan plate one of two okay so it shows cyan here that's to say this is only cyan channel if this should be transferred to the plate and sent to the machine it's going to print only the part of your design that has cyan but there is one particular thing i want us to check out very well why is the black still appearing in cyan when it's supposed to disappear it's not supposed to show remember in loving memory of our beloved mother is in black and it's not supposed to show in the cyan channel okay so let's go back moving back to the original design let's look at this it's black here and let ma is also black and this name here is also black and we also have black on this other side but why is it appearing in cyan channel it's not supposed to appear the reason is because we used the 100% cyan magenta yellow and black okay we use the 100% cmyk black that's why it's appearing there let's check it out with magenta if you click on magenta and uncheck cyan and click on print preview this is also going to show us the parts of our design that contains magenta and the black is still appearing here which is not what we want you can see here it's magenta but magenta is still appearing here okay so let's move to the next color channel which is yellow if you click on this let's go back to where we started and click on yellow on check cyan and then click on print preview and when you click on print preview it also shows us the channel that has yellows this is it contains all the yellow parts of the design and that is what we see the black is still visible in the yellow part and let's check the last one which is black let's check the last part which is black as well print preview now we are going to see the part of the design that has black and the blacks are still available so these blacks appear in the four color channels which is not supposed to be so let's test this with the other design that has just black not 100% cmyk okay so i'm going to cancel this uh dialog box i'm going to cancel that i move to the next page this next page has just black on the black so it does not have 
the hundred percent cmyk let's do this so i'm going to try printing this i'm going to press ctrl p and when i do that i'm going to click on the printer again and set it to hp dex jet now you can select any printer you want to use for the color separation but i'm not teaching you how to separate the colors i'm doing this practically so you can see how these black colors work the main focus on this tutorial is the two black colors and knowing them and when to use them so once you set the printer go to color and then we're going to click on separations and clicking on separations okay i have to go back and set this again okay separations then we have the cmyk again uncheck black uncheck yellow uncheck magenta and we have just cyan click on print preview and when you click on print preview you are going to observe that all the parts that had black have disappeared how come this is because we use the normal black and it has zero percent cyan 0% magenta, 0% yellow, and just 100% black. So why the black is not showing here is because black is not supposed to be on the cyan color channel. So this is just cyan, okay? This is just cyan. Okay, let's let's check this with the page. We have the page 1 here, page 2 here. Remember, the first page is the one that has the 100% cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, while the second page is the one that does not have. So on page 1, this is what we get on page one. Page one has these blacks everywhere. And page two does not have. The parts that have that black has disappeared. Let's check this with uh, magenta. So checking on magenta, on check cyan, and then click on print preview. We are going to see the very same thing here. The black is not visible. It's not visible because it's not in the black in the magenta channel. Okay, the blacks have disappeared. The only part of your design you are seeing here is the magenta part. That is all the parts of your design that contains magenta color tones. So if I uncheck magenta and check on yellow, then click on print preview, we are going to see the very same thing here. All the parts that has black have disappeared. So what you are seeing here are the parts of your design that has yellow. But then when it comes to black, which is the very last one, let's look at the black here. Check on black, uncheck yellow, click on print preview. What we are going to see here are the parts of your design that has black. So the blacks are now very visible. That is to say the color separation on the second page is perfect. But when it comes to the very first page, it's not perfect. It's not okay. So what happens when you misuse these colors? They offset print operator will not be able to align the colors and the result of your design will not be okay at the end of the day it may result to loss of money and resources because the papers that will be used to print will be wasted and the result of the printing will not look good so you may waste the money you've started the printing process already as a print designer you have to take note of this when you are designing for print else you also pay for the waste and this is specifically for those that uses Corel draw to design i'm going to make a video like this for those that uses photoshop and adobe illustrator to design course you have to understand this color separation if you are a print designer just like me so you can see when designing for print it is really really related to color separation and you have to understand these two blacks so you use the normal black when you are designing for offset print and when you are designing for large format or digital print it's totally fine to use the 100 percent cmyk because it makes the black to be so rich subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notified when i make a video just like this one because i'll be making videos that guides you on how to make perfect print designs just like this with that being said i will see you in the next one